The rule of 72 is a simple calculation that determines how long it will take an investment to double in value given a specific rate of return. This rule helps you quickly understand your investment goal and how achievable it really is using a realistic time frame, and depending upon how you use it, can really boost your confidence. The formula works by taking the number 72 and dividing it by the annual rate of return that you expect to receive from your investment, which for this rule, that rate of return is fixed, which means that the return on investment that you're receiving is going to stay the same for all the years ahead that are calculated. Following this, the formula then equates to the amount of time that it would take your initial investment to double in value. So let's go over some examples. And for this, you are going to know exactly what rates you are going to be receiving from your initial investment. So we are going to go over three different ones. The first one being 3%, then 6% and 8%. Obviously you want to pick the 8% because that will give you the highest return on your investment. But as you watch this video, I'm going to go over and explain how based on time with years to follow compound interest also plays a major part in how much you are going to benefit from this. So for the 3%, it would take our investment 24 years to double in value. I got this by taking 72 and dividing it by 3%. Although for proper units, you're not going to include the 3%. So it's going to be 72 divided by three. For the 6%, you would then take 72 and divide it by six. And that would give you 12. 12 is the amount of years that it would take your initial investment to double in value if you're getting 6% of a return on investment consistently. And for the 8%, that would be 72 divided by eight, which is nine years to double your investment. So what we should be noticing right now so far with this rule of 72 is that when you have an 8% return on investment, it takes nine years to double. But when you have a 3% return on investment, it takes you 24 years. That is 15 years of a separation with the same exact benefit of doubling your investment. Now I'm gonna go over different examples on how to utilize this in the real world, but as an overall guide, the rule of 72 shows a great visual on how valuable the annual rate of return is for the speed of your investment. Another way of viewing this rule is by looking for the annual rate of return that you would need if you wanted to double your money in a specific time that you wanted. To do this, let's just say that your goal is to convert $50,000 into $100,000 in 10 years. What you need to know is the rate of return that you are going to need throughout every year of those 10 years to achieve that goal. So now you have to do some simple algebra, solve for the rate of return instead of solving for the time. So a way that you can do this is by pulling out the rate of return and now divide the time, the T, make it 72 divided by T, the time, and that will give you the annual rate of return that you are going to need in order to achieve your goal. So to solve this, we're gonna take 72 and divide it by 10 years, which is 7.2%. That is the rate of return you're going to have to see every single year for 10 years straight in order to double your money. And that does not matter if it's 50,000 to 100,000 or 1 million to 2 million. So now I'm gonna go over a basic idea of how you can utilize this rule. First example is gonna be about different units that you can use and different topics as well. It doesn't have to be about just investments. Let's say that my goal is to double my subscriber count on my YouTube channel from 4,000 to 8,000 subscribers in the next six months. You can use weeks, months, years. Most forms of this rule are gonna be used annually because that's how returns are, interest rates, many sort of topics like that in the financial world. But for this example, and you can use this with any topic of your own, we're doing months. The rule still applies to the same format. I would take 72 and divide it by six months. That's going to give me 12%. That is the rate of return I'm going to need every month for those six months, that's my goal, to double the subscriber count. If you're curious how this actually works, it is generated from the power of compound interest, a critical understanding that you need to know, and I'm going to break it down for you. So what this first off means is that every month, my channel is going to have to grow 12% per month in the next six months to go from 4,000 to 8,000. So in order for me to achieve this goal, I need to grow 12% per month on my YouTube channel. That 12% first off is gonna come from 4,000. 12% 12 of 4,000 is 480. So by the start of the second month, I would now have to have 4,480 subscribers. Now I would need to grow at 12% of that amount. So that would be even higher than the 480. That would be 538 subscribers that I would need in the second month. By the third month, I would have 
5,018 subscribers. 12% of that would mean I would have to gain 602 subscribers in the third month alone, more than what we initially started with, and it is continuously going up every single month. By the fourth month, I would start with 5,620, and I would have to gain 674 subscribers. That would equate to a total of 6,294. Fifth month, I would need 12% of that number, which would be 755 subscribers, equating to 7,049. And by following this rule with compound interest, the sixth month, I would need to gain 846 subscribers. That would equate to 7,895. Notice how this isn't exactly 8,000, which is what our goal was and what really should have came out of the calculation. But because this isn't an exact calculation, it's more so an approximate estimate you're going to get some numbers that are gonna be close, similar, but not exact. So that right there is how compound interest works. The first month, it was lower, it was at 480, and the last month was a lot higher. If you were to do this with money instead, the first year, it might only give you $1,000 of a return on your investment, but by the time of doing this for 20 to 30 years straight, by that last year, you might be getting $100,000 alone on that year. So if you're over there hearing somebody say, invest as soon as possible, invest as much as you can, or get into the S&P 500, that is all real stuff. And I believe that you should be doing that. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't do anything that I say. But I really do think that that is something everyone needs to do. I think you need to get into investments because you might not realize it right now in the first few years. But over time, 20, 30 years of doing this, you will accumulate a lot of wealth from allowing that money to work for you in the market. And then eventually, that portfolio is going to give you such great returns that you may not even have to work again. Investments are a huge reason for why people are able to retire. With that being said, if you have any interesting ideas or surprising points about the rule of 72 and compound interest, put that in the comment section for others and I to see. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribed to the Money Talk channel. Now I wanna go over the next example that is a financial goal that can, as we discussed, help you from investing to retire. Let's say that you have $20,000 saved up and you're receiving an 8% annual rate of return. Now many investment funds do see this sort of return. This is about the average, maybe 7 8%, but some perform much better like the S&P 500 that has been doing so on average since its creation. So with an 8% rate of return, that means 72 divided by 8, which is 9 years, is the amount of time it would take for your money to double. Let's say that you start doing this at 25. By the time that you are 34, your account is going to be at $40,000. If you add another 9 years, you double that again. So when you are 43, that's gonna turn into $80,000. And if you add another nine, then you are 52 years old and your account would have $160,000. At another nine, you're 61 years old at $320,000. And that is all from an initial investment of $20,000. No more additions in that period at all. Notice what I discussed about compound interest with this rule of 72 is that the more money you have over time of doubling your money, you will be able to continuously make more money. The first year you had 20,000, you went to 40,000. That was a $20,000 improvement or increase in nine years. But by the last nine years from 52 to 61, it went from $160,000 to $320,000. $160,000 in the same time frame. It's just that you had more money from doing this over time. $320,000 would double again to $640,000 to $1.28 million to $2.56 million. And yes, you may be older by that point, but if you start earlier and you invest throughout the years, continuously add to the portfolio, that is achievable, and I think that that is something that you have to account for when you start now. It is because of where you can be in the future. So to sum it up, the rule of 72 is a simple approach that allows you to determine how long it will take your investment to double in value based on a given rate of return. The equation to this rule is T for time is equal to the number 72 divided by R the rate of return that you expect to see that is fixed that you will be getting every single year for that length of time. You can also determine if you want to double your money in a specific period of time, what the rate of return is that you are going to need in order to achieve this goal. To find that, it's going to be R, the rate of return, is equal to 72 divided by T for time. Now, the really cool thing about this rule is that it's not just about investments. It could really be about anything that could double with time that's measurable such as I discussed earlier, my YouTube channel with subscribers and the growth for that and what I would need to do to achieve my goal. 
Let me know any interesting or fun ideas of how you've utilized this rule in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Money Talk channel if you have not already.